Hello guys, once again this is Ivo Shukla Introducing you StatPro Tutorials Now we will discuss how to design staircase in StatPro AI Since staircase is an important feature of building First of all we should know what is staircase Let me open this software Staircase is an important component of a building Providing access to different floors and roof of the building it consists of a flight of steps and one or more intermediate landing slabs between the floor levels. Different types of staircases can be made by arranging stair and landing slabs. Single flight, two flight, open well, spiral staircases. <coughs> These are the different types of staircases we have. Okay, now we will discuss how to design the staircase in Strat Pro, where I apply the loads particularly. File name should be. staircase design and the units are meter and kilo newton first of all we would like to edit the grids uh, grids here that are the linear grids you can see go to the edit in the x spacing is 1 and in y we will introduce 0 0.5 Now our grid is looking like this. First of all, we will make the nodes. <coughs> Press Ctrl and make a node here and at a height of 1.5 meter. And after that, switch off the grids. Now we have created our two nodes. And using these two nodes, we will proceed for further design. Now we will select node cursor select these two particular nodes and go to the transitional repeat in z directions number of step will be 1 and default step spacing will be 1.5 meter click on ok button to get the required nodes since we are creating this waste lab we have to create the landings also so we, we will select this particular node and go to the transitional repeat and in z direction we will provide a spacing of 0 0.51 meter click on ok now we will select this particular node using node cursor and again go to the transitional repeat and we will select the global direction z number of steps will be 1 and default spacing will be 1.5 meter direction will be z we have get our required particular nodes now we will select this these three particular nodes to make the landing nodes go to the transitional repeat select the x direction you can see x direction the landings we are creating default step spacing will be 1.5 meter again you can see we have created our landing nodes now we will go to the these two particular <coughs> nodes to make the landing to the next floor go to the transitional repeat again and we will select y direction since we have to make our nodes at high level to the to reach our landing to the next floor Default spacing will be 1.5 meter. Now, if you go to the view, you can see switch on the grids. This particular node is not set at proper location. You can see on the grids, and from the origin, it is at a distance of minus 2 meter. 
so we have to set this particular node here select this particular node and right click here move at a distance of minus 2 This particular is not set as this required location. Now switch off the grids. Go to the isometric view. Since we have created our required nodes, now the step is to join these particular nodes using the add four noded blade. One by one, we will join these particular nodes using our add four noded plate. Now we have created our particular required model. You can see in front view, in top view, this is a spacing of 0.15 meter and we go to the isometric view since we have created our particular model now the time is to match these particular plates select the plate cursor select this particular plate right click on this particular plate generate plate mesh go to the quadrilateral meshing click ok set the divisions as for Now we have messed our particular plates. Now this time is to now this time we have to apply plate thickness to the landings and the waist lap differently. Now go to the general tab, go to the property, and now go to the thickness 0.15 meter and 0.1 meter. Highlight the first plate thickness that is the 0.15 meter that is the 150 mm go to the front view like this 0.15 meter plate thickness I have to apply this particular landing so I will select selection mark like this assign to selected plate that is the assignment method and click on assign this particular plate thickness has been assigned to this particular landing only now select the plate thickness selection box will be like this go to the isometric view check <coughs> assign to selected plates click on assign plate thickness has been provided to our staircase now go to the rendered view that is the 3d view you can see the staircase has been properly modeled and thickness has been properly applied to the landings in the waist lap now the time is to apply the supports go to the general tab again go to the support create fixed type of support click on add highlight the support to go to the front view Go to the isometric view, check all the supports and the nodes has been selected properly, assigned to selected nodes and click on assign.
देखिए यस नो गो टू द लोड एंड डेफिनेशन टैब सेलेक्ट द लोड केस डिटेल्स क्लिक ऑन ऐड सेलेक्ट द डेट लोड फ्रॉम हियर एंड लाइव लोड इन द डेट लोड गो टू द सेल्फ फेट इन द लाइव लोड सेलेक्ट द प्लेट लोड Minus 25 and the direction of the G bar. Since we are considering whole plate, self weight in dead load will be assigned. To plate load will be assigned using the plate cursor. Select all the plates assigned to selected plate. Since we have created our primary load, that is the dead and live load. Now the time is to create the load combination. Go to the load case detail. Click on add. Go to the auto load combination for time saving. Select the Indian code. Go to the generate loads. Click on and close. Now go to the NSS print to check whether you have done any error or not. Go to the analyze menu. Click on run analysis. Since there is no error, no warning, no notes. we will proceed for the designing process go to the design tab select here as concrete current code will be is456 select parameters grid of concrete and the grid of steel define parameters m40 grid of concrete fy main the grid of steel 415 now we will assign these particular parameters to this staircase now to the commands menu since there is no beam or column we will design only this slab or element go to the design element select all these particular plates assign to this particular plate only click on assign Now again go to the analyze menu click on run analysis check the view output file zero error zero warning and zero note go to the concrete design here you can see longitudinal reinforcement and transfer reinforcement the end of the concrete design close this now go to the post processing mode select all the load cases that is the primary loads and the load combination click on apply okay you can see the displacement here summary related with the maximum or the minimum values you can see the reactions If you want to see the particular plate information, click double click on this plate and select the load cases and see the properties, property constants, elastic poisson ratio density alpha, corner stresses you can see maximum top and all these parameters you can see here. These are the particular nodes by which this is plate has been formed. Now go to the plate tab. Stress type will be maximum absolute. Check the minimum maximum values. Go to the structure. Fill plate with solids. Staircase. Like if you want to take a picture, you can go to here. Take picture. Name as. staircase click on okay now i want a report go to the file tab report setup page i want notes plates material 
supports basic load cases load combinations in output click pictures and transfer it here click on ok now again go to the file print preview report you can see the job information notes notes has been continued click on next page plate information supports materials commission and this is a picture with the animation go to the deflection apply okay you can see the deflection in your staircase also the node information you can see from here right click on here with the labels you can see the plate orientation also if you want to see the particular plate for the select this particular view particular plate new view you can see this particular plate orientation likewise you can select any plate and check its orientation you can go back to the original display whole structure right click on labels and check this plate orientation you can see the force limits here stress type plate stress contour you can change the color for different types of stresses shear and bending moments thank you for watching this tutorial of the staircase design and subscribe my channel post your queries regarding any topic in stat pro i will answer you and i hope you, know, you like this tutorial and subscribe my channel and on the upcoming days i will upload more and more videos to create more knowledge about the stat pro software thank you very much stay blessed stay raw